What's up, Loop community? My name is Edge. I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer. And in this session, we're gonna show you how you can get set up to produce your own tracks in Logic. So the first time that you open up Logic, you're gonna see a template you can write here. And you're more than welcome to choose any one of these templates to get started. But I personally like starting with an empty project, just cause that's starting from scratch. It's, you know, usually the best route when you're first learning. Later on, we'll show you how you can set up your own templates to speed up your workflow. But for now, we're gonna start with a totally blank project. Now, when I start Logic for the first time, it's gonna give me an option that looks a little bit like this. It'll, it'll ask you, what do you want to start with? Do you wanna start with a software instrument, an audio instrument, uh, a drummer instrument? And we'll talk about all these in depth. So software instrument are any of the sounds that are built inside of Logic. Logic comes with about 65 gigabytes worth of sound and presets and pre-configured instruments that you can use. Basses, drums, uh, synthesizers, keyboards, you name it. Any sound that you can think of, Logic pretty much comes with a really robust library full of software instruments. You can also start recording audio straight away. So if you've got a guitar, if you've got a vocal that you're trying to record, if you're actually recording any kind of external sound, that's what an audio instrument is for. Uh, same as guitar or bass, it's got some setup exactly for that. And then there's a drummer instrument as well, which is a little bit different. It's kind of like a software instrument, but also kind of like an audio instrument. You basically set up a drummer if you want to just insert a drummer. It's pretty straightforward and we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit more detail. Now, if you don't see a menu that looks like this, it might look a little bit different, then you probably want to enable your advanced tools in Logic. So if you go up to Logic Pro in the top left hand corner, head to preferences and head to advanced tools, you want to make sure that the show advanced tools option is enabled because that'll give you all of the good stuff that comes with Logic. Without this enabled, you get kind of a garage bandy experience, which isn't bad and you get a lot more than garage band, but you definitely want to get everything you paid for and you want to make sure that you enable show advanced tools. Great. So you can see that when I've opened up Logic, it's given me a library of sounds to choose from based off of the instrument that I selected, in which case I had selected an instrument called Retro Synth. You can see that, by the way, laid out here in this area called the Channel Strips Inspector. And you can see that whatever I've got selected in the Channel Strips Inspector is also selected right here in the Tracks list. So this is kind of the, the overall view of how Logic kind of organizes the sounds that you're working with. Whatever you have selected in the track has a corresponding channel strip, and that corresponding channel strip has a bunch of corresponding presets that you can select and work with. I'm gonna go ahead and hide this region inspector for a second, because we don't really need to look at it just now. And you can see that if I choose any one of these other sounds like synth pads, for example, um, access codes, and I start playing anything, you can see that it kind of updates that particular pad with that particular sound. And I can select a bunch of different sounds here, like a dark swell pad. Let's see what that's about. Not bad. I'll keep that because I might use that sound a little bit later on. And space is everything here and real estate is really expensive. So I'm going to hide some of the stuff that I don't need to look at. So I'll hide the library and um, I'll leave the inspector for now. So I've got a custom sound that I want to work with. That's cool. We'll come back to that a little bit later. What I want to do right now is I want to pull in a song that I want to produce around and create my own custom track to. To do that, I'm going to go to the file browser up here at the top right hand corner, all files. And I'll go over to, um, let's go to where all of my scratch tracks are. So I'll go to drive to, I've got that in a church folder underneath a work tapes folder. And I'm going to be using a song uh, that we've been playing at my church, at Soul City Church, called um, Hallelujah, the Battle is One. And uh, it's a great song. You can actually get the custom multi-tracks for this on loopcommunity.com. And uh, let's go ahead and just drag this in. Yeah, that's about right. Logic is gonna go ahead and analyze that song. And what I wanna do is I, I know that the tempo is not the same as the song. So I'm just gonna have Logic decide what the tempo of the song is for me. I'll just right click on it. I'll go to where it says tempo and I'll say adapt project tempo to region tempo. When I do that, Logic's gonna analyze the song and you can see it's updated it to 148 
beats per minute. And it's pretty good. If I click back, let's see if that's actually in sync. Let me go ahead and press the uh, metronome to make sure that's playing as well. Close enough for rock and roll. Okay. So that'll be my uh, scratch track that I'm gonna be basing everything off of. You can see I've got a two bar intro and then the song starts here. Probably a good idea to get yourself set up here is to actually lay the song out for yourself so that you know what section you're actually producing around. And to do that, you're gonna wanna use markers. So we've already covered markers in an earlier video in our tracks workflow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add them. Uh, the quick way to do that, by the way, is to just go down to the global markers and hit marker, and that'll give you the option to actually start adding in markers. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, great. So now that I've added all my markers, now it's time to really dig into this track and start producing around it. <laughs> 